So today we're going to be discussing, honestly, this one's going to be pretty fun. I'm, we're, I'm really pumped up. I'm jazzed up for this one. We're talking about things to do in Lubbock. We've divvied it up into four categories. We've got college student. We've got young adult, maybe just graduate college. We've got married with kids, and then we've got older folks. Maybe not super old, but you know, what, however you define yourself. Eight. We don't discriminate at all. Oh, hold on. So we'll go ahead and get rolling with college students. Now, Start because going. because I just recently stepped out of college, I didn't say graduate, I said stepped out. <laughs> One of the main things to do as a college student is go to Broadway. Yep. This is where a lot of the bars are. You got Chimmy's, Local, Atomic, Crickets, Beer House. That's just off the top of my bar <laughs> PM. <laughs> I've been there a couple times. It's fun. There's, no, it is a good time. It's a really good college scene. Chimmy's, I would yeah. say, especially is one of the most notable, well-known. When you're a lot of times when college students' parents come in town, it's oh, we're going to Chimmy's. That's the quint. I think that's the quintessential, and it's it's a restaurant as well. Excellent margaritas. That's a that's the quintessential Lubbock, Texas Tech. I mean, I think that's that's kind of the shining light. I would say favorite. so too. The quintessential <laughs> Tech bar. So Broadway is a very fun thing to do. Another thing that obviously you're going to do if you're in college is you're going to go see Tech play. Of course. Uh, football games. Yep. Basketball games. Tailgating. Tailgating is huge. Phenomenal. Yeah, tailgating is huge. A, people turn it into a sport. You got people out there doing ribs at 5 a.m. just for a tailgate. Yep, a lot of people smoke meats here, <coughs> like our old friend Mark Zuckerberg. Tag Mark Zuckerberg, smoking meats. Smoking meats. Can you clip that one in? I am I'm making meats now. Smoking these meats here. Our little meat smoking. It's smoking. Another fun activity that not a lot of people know about and not a lot of people would do is go Stars and Stripes. The drive-in movie theater. So the this is, movie theater. I think it's cool. I mean, it's kind of an old go. world 1950s thing, but you get to go. I mean, it's, I, it's <laughs> fun. <laughs> I don't, don't know where I was going with that, but no, no, it, yeah, it's, it's a good fun. time. It is a lot of fun. You pull up, you know, you get snacks, refreshments, popcorn, all that stuff. Bring a truck. Yeah. I actually brought Jaden's truck one time because yeah. I don't have a truck. I drive a car because I'm a bit classier, but he has a truck. <laughs> so he let me use it popped some blankets in the bed and enjoyed a nice movie. So sticking with the college kids, and this one's a little bit of a crossover. Um, a lot of pe things people wear in West Texas, it's desert. We have lakes. We mm -hmm. have, I mean, they, one of them, Alan Henry, this is my personal favorite. It's about 45 minutes away. It is a good sized it's lake. You get out there, lake, yeah. you can, uh, you'll you get far away from the dock. You won't see people. You, you hop on that tube, you yeah. hop on that tube. You get a, you just roll. And if you say you don't like tubing, you're a liar. You're a, Everyone you're likes a freaking tubing. liar. And you should stop watching this video. No, we need them to watch. Just but kidding, watch it. Lakes, we got Alan Henry, uh, which is about 45 minutes away. If you want to stay a little bit closer, you just have an afternoon to get out there. We have Buffalo Springs Lake, which is just East 50th. I would say it's 15 minutes. 20, from, yeah, 15, 20. From downtown Lubbock. So you just head right out 50th, you'll run into Buffalo Springs Lake, which also ties into Ransom Canyon Lake, which is, if you have a house out there, it's more a little bit more private, but Buffalo's yeah. open to more people. But a lot of people don't know, there are lakes, you get your boat out, you wake surf, you, you wake board, yeah. You chill, you pontoon, like little big town says. You come to town, we'll figure out a boat and we'll take you tubing. We'll get you there. So next, also I feel like I have some credibility here because I was in college, now I am a young adult. Is that how you identify now? I identify as a young adult. Me, me too. So an, a step up from Broadway in terms of going out is the Depot District. These are bars that are a bit more upscale. You're going to get yeah. a, a wider variety of people there. It's not just going to be strictly college kids. You're going to get a lot more young people too, even a bit of an older crowd. Also, another great thing is you got some wineries. Jaden is an avid wine drinker, so I think he's gonna take that one. Absolutely, I am not a wine drinker, but I love to go out and have a good time. He does. A lot of these these wine, it's it's more my wife's thing, but she's pregnant now, so we haven't been doing recently, but we've had some really good wineries wine. open up. <laughs> I'm not, but <laughs> <laughs> to go out there and, and try some wine, um, have some appetizers, take some friends out, there's a lot of options. You have Yano, which is probably the biggest, most well-known one. Yano, um, we have Berkeley Hill downtown that just opened up, a really, really cool spot, really cool um, environment in downtown. Um, but for wineries, a lot of people don't know, West Texas, it seems dry, it's just cotton fields. We have some wineries out we here. We got some good grapes. Yeah. We have good, we I have don't a, know a good grape from a bad one, but I just need a good word for it. Yeah, I mean, I just know green and red. Yeah. And but you, if you drink enough wine, all of it's pretty good. All of it's gonna be good. Yeah. Doesn't matter if it's $7. Dude, what's going on, man? Ow now brown cow. Ow now brown cow. Unique. The torch. human torch received a bank loan. <laughs> <laughs> so another really fun thing is you got First Friday Art Trail. We've discussed this in 
quite a lot of videos. That means the first Friday of every month, there's this hodgepodge event where a bunch of artists come together. There's a lot of food trucks. The artists showcase their art. There's food trucks. There's live music. It's a great event for um, just people. It's, a, it's even a good networking thing. I mean, a yeah. ton of people go to this. Yeah. And, and hodgepodge may not do it justice. It's not, yeah, it's not a thrown not. together event. It is hodgepodge. very well done. You walk through art museums that are downtown. It's right next to the new uh, Buddy Holly Center downtown. So you have that awesome uh, building in the background and then food trucks, you go in and out. There's art for sale. There's art that's just being displayed. And then there's artists out there doing art as people are walking through. So if you're looking for something it's the beginning of the month, Friday, you wanna take your significant other out on a date. We do it all the time. We do, me and Jaden no, do. No, we do not. No, we do. Me and my wife do. And we <laughs> Don't let it. them fool you. We're in a relationship. <laughs> Strictly platonic, but still a relationship. I'm so happy Bailey edits. It may not look like it from this floral shirt, but I am an outdoorsy guy. You are a mountain man if I've ever seen one. I don't, don't give me too like much a, credit. Like a big old lumberjack. I love to hike. I love being outdoors. I take the pups with me. Um, I love to get out mountain biking. Um, so for that in Lubbock, we're not that far away from a couple of state parks. We have Caprock Canyons, which is about an hour and a half away right outside of Kittyquay, Kitty Texas. Look it up, it's spelled really weird with a Q. Yeah, Kittyquay, Texas has Caprock Canyons. It's an awesome, it's right off of the Caprock. You'll see the plateaus. The cool thing about this one is there's live bison. So until I ran into one on a trail, I never realized that a bison is the size of your car it sometimes, is. which is kind of scary to, to stare down, so I ran. Yep, um, naturally. If you're not into bison, you could head about two hours from Lubbock, just outside of Amarillo, we have Paladuro Canyon. Yep. Cool fact about Paladuro Canyon, it is the second largest in the US behind the Grand Out of boy. Canyon. The Grand Canyon. So the Grand, the it's, Grand Canyon. It's not small by any means. There's tons of trails if you want to go out there. If you, got a, if you have a Jeep, you're wanting to do some off-roading. If you want to do some hiking, some mountain biking, some camping, there's campsites. So the next category we're going to let Jaden lead off with because like we stated, he's about to be a dad. Yeah. Yay! I am married and almost, 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 <laughs> almost. almost. <laughs> okay, so married, you got some kiddos. You need to entertain those kiddos. They're driving you crazy. What do we have available? Not alcohol. No, but honestly, what if, <laughs> oddly enough, for us, you get us alone, yep. and I and I get to be a kid with Andrew. Adventure Park. Adventure Park. We did an office party here. It's we great did. for the kiddos. Mini golf, ropes course, bumper cars. Huge, not just a ropes course. It's like a scary I'm huge ropes. Yeah. He's really underselling. It's a scary big ropes I course. Agree. But that's an awesome, an awesome outlet. We have a few others. Um, Science Spectrum. I know you're a big fan of the Science Spectrum. Yep, I am. I'm a big fan of any Spectrum, <laughs> which I find myself on a few of them. <laughs> <laughs> people would agree. People would agree. Most people would agree. And uh, yeah, the science spectrum is really cool. You got a lot of science stuff there. So oh, really, just I've never been there, but I know that it's a place that a lot of no, it's a really cool place for kids to go in there and explore. It's a lot of hands-on little science experiments that they have there. It's all donated through through charity. It's a really yeah. cool place. In the summer, they bring in animals, so camels and. Um, elephants, kids can go out there and do rides. It's a really cool, just learning type environment for the kiddos. And it is a, a younger kid thing. I think if it's, you know, 10 and under, that would be the, the age range for that. But yep. all, you gotta hit, if you got kiddos, you gotta, you gotta do it once. It's one of those items. You do. Another thing would be trapped, which Jade and I have talked about doing an escape room. The, the escape rooms here are so much fun. Yeah. You get locked in a room and you've got 60 minutes to an hour to just, 60 minutes to an hour. 60 minutes or like an hour and a half to figure out how you're going to get out. And it's usually like a detective sort of thing. Odd enough though, think about going back, if we had a time machine going to the 1800s and saying, hey, for entertainment, they lock us in a room. <laughs> they lock us in a room and try to... <laughs> but you get there and you forget, it's so much fun. You get, you get so wrapped get up totally in it. You wrapped up in, the, in this. So. And they usually have different themes. You usually get wrapped up in the theme. So here's here's a challenge. Any person who is, come, is moving to Lubbock, give us a ring. We'll do us as a team, yep. you and your spouse, or, or whoever you choose, whoever you and we'll race to get out of the same room. Yes, the city fastest, is. fastest one doesn't buy lunch. Fastest one does not buy lunch, but even if we lose, you still gotta use us as your real estate agents. Win-win. Win-win for us. <laughs> <laughs> so another fantastic family event thing to do, and this kind of supersedes all of the categories because really anybody can go do this, yeah. is the range. Right. This is one of my favorite spots in Lubbock. So it is a golf range. So you show up with your clubs, you get a bucket of balls, you get some beer, you get some drinks, pizza, and you just hit balls. Yeah. And it's a lot of fun. There's people of all ages there just hanging out, little kids running around, there's a little putt-putt green for them. Just, and then 
you know, if you need to work on your swing, which yeah, we all do. We all do. Yeah. Okay, so our last group, and it's what I identify with most, I feel like I'm an old soul, I don't wanna get too crazy, is the older folks. And what that is, it's gonna be a lot more chill. My favorite, I like farmer's markets. Yeah. There's two here. Two, two. Double. Dose. There's two farmer's market. You have the Lubbock farmer's market, you have uh, Wolferth. Wolferth. I live out in Wolferth. I'm partial to the Wolforth Farmer's Market. Um, Lubbock's is done downtown, which is a really cool setting for it. Brick roads and they block it off. You're walking downtown. A lot of fresh vegetables, a lot of cool vendors out there. Um, Wolforth is gonna be similar as well. It'll get uh, a little bit more, it'll range a little bit more from, from fresh vegetables. You have cool people making jewelry out there. You have food trucks. But for a Saturday morning, me and my wife, it's, it's almost guaranteed. One, one week in a month, we'll You're go gone. out and hit them. Yeah. yeah. Very vibey joint. And I've been with y'all once. Yeah. And there's just a lot of stuff there. It's, it's really kind yeah. of an interesting thing to see. Yep. That is probably more of a hodgepodge of cultures. That's where the hodgepodge, that's where hodgepodge right. comes in. Yep. Another really cool thing about Lubbock that's very unique. Obviously, we're in West Texas. So one of our premier animals that we have here, you could call them animals or you could call them rodents is the prairie dog like a mascot I think. it's they, more they of a it a is yeah it's a bit more of a mascot but we have a lot of these freaking things everywhere we yeah. even have an entire city dedicated to them it's called prairie, prairie dog, dog town yeah. there are tons of prairie dogs that live here it's it's like a big field and you just show up and there's a divider and then in the field just thousands of prairie dogs right. running around. I think they've got a mayor, they've got a whole infrastructure system, yeah. they've got a whole sewage system. They've you know. adopted democracy. They've adopted it's democracy. democracy. Really well. They're having elections. So it's just a very, very cool thing to do. Makes It's a extremely unique thing about Lubbock. It's one of those things you wouldn't be able to do anywhere You're else. You're not finding it anywhere else. I, not that I've seen. Maybe this, cool. maybe Africa, well, where there's a lot of animals everywhere. That's a, and that's a long flight. So. Yeah, long flight. Then another thing that's really great is, we've talked about Buddy Holly quite a bit, a trailblazer of rock and roll. There is the Buddy Holly Museum that showcases kind of his life. There's a lot of his clothes, his guitars. It's a really interesting place. Historically, even if you don't care about history, you should go because you get to see the framework and the groundwork of Lubbock. They even have a model of his old house that he was raised in, yeah. which is crazy. Absolutely. Then go from the museum right on over to the new event center, the Buddy Holly Event Center, brand spanking new. We've also discussed this. You can go see all types of shows from orchestra, classical music, to Kid Rock, or Bill Maher is performing there soon. I don't know that Kid Rock is on the schedule, but... <laughs> He'll be here. Okay. He will be here. Kid Rock? Kid I don't... Rock. Come to love it, baby. Come on. We got, but comedians are coming in, Tom Segura, and I think Bill Maher's come in, yeah. and there's just a lot of culture heading this direction. It'll be a good spot to, for, for Lubbock to attract more major events. So I think it's, it's really gonna open another door that Lubbock hasn't seen in a while. Yes, another thing is the Cactus Theater. Yes. This is in the Depot District. A lot of mini plays go on here, performances as well. Yep. My, aunt who, <clears throat> my aunt who lives here, she's a bit on the older side, but I'm not gonna call her old, but she fits in this category. She goes there often and see shows. Yeah, yeah no, so actually I have, I have a little sister. She, don't hold me to it, she's 12, 13. She sings at the Cactus, so you, you get some, and she can actually, oh, I, I know everyone life. says that about, you know, their, their, sister, their yeah. family, but she can actually sing. She does it at, at the Cactus Theater. They put on a little concert, and then, like you said, it's, a, it's an older group that goes, and it's a good time. Good time. Thank you so much for sticking around and watching. I've been Andrew. I've been Jaden. And we are your favorite realtors, and we will see you very soon. Thank you, goodbye. Boom!